Hi everyone, good afternoon. Welcome to Crochet Rocks. And this is um, a little, well, a video that's going to show you a drop in the ocean of my King Cole order. It was rather a massive, massive order. So what I've done is I've taken a bit of a portion of it and I've taken one ball of each, just like I did with uh, my previous um, order that I showed you um, for Stylecraft. Well, this one is the King Cole and I couldn't get it all. It was just <laughs> so big. Um, I've undone two big boxes and taken one of each and I've got a sample box that they've sent me. Um, but there are two huge bags and I haven't even tackled those yet. So this is the stock that I'm going to be selling in my shop, which obviously many of you have heard of already, but some of you might not, and that's called Hobby Rocks. It's not ready yet. It's being constructed as we speak. It will be an online shop. Um, whether I'll have a physical kind of presence anywhere on the marketplace yet, I don't know. I'm kind of in two minds about that. So at this precise moment, I'm not planning it, but you just don't know. Um, I'm a spare of the moment type person and it might the mood might take me. So in the meantime, I'm going to show you some of the stuff that I've bought and I've been uploading onto my site ready for when it's launched. And the first one that um, I'm going to show you, I've used this. I made a mini skirt outfit and that is the King Cole DK Riot. Now, it's been around some time. And there's a lot of beautiful beautiful colours in it. I haven't chosen all of the colours yet but obviously I will build up gradually as I go. So this one is uh, called Rainbow shade 1843 and as you can see it is all the beautiful colours. Look at that. Don't you just love it when they look like that? When they're all kind of in a ball. It's sort of so perfect don't really want to spoil it and use it because it's a work of art but obviously it's for using as well so anyway this is 100 grams um, and it's 30% wool 70% premium acrylic and it is 324 yards or 294 meters now as I said I made a mini skirt with this and I used it and it didn't make my hands react so I was fine because sometimes if there is a wool content or um, a mohair content or anything sort of like a, a natural fibre. I can be allergic, but I've, I've found that this was really lovely and soft and I didn't react to it at all. So we've got rainbow. Um, I'm just going to pop it down there into a bag. And then this one, look at that. <gasps> Isn't that just beautiful? Oh my God. I can't believe this colour. I absolutely love it. Look at that. As soon as I saw it, I was like, whoa. Oh, it's going to be hard to part with any of this stuff. It's like, my precious. But this one is called Forest. 3351 Forest. Now, all of the dimensions and everything are the same as before. So I don't need to go into all that. But isn't it just stunning? Really? It is. It's stunning. Now, this is the one I made the mini skirt from, and it does look a little leery, but when it makes up, it's beautiful. And I did it with a row of this and a row of black, a row of this and a row of black, and it did have a really lovely look to it. And I think this is called Zest. I could be wrong. Um, yep, I am. It's called Neon. But look at it. It is just astonishing, isn't it? They are really beautiful neon colours in there. I think the one I used was called Zest. And I'm sure I did order Zest. So maybe I haven't come across that particular bag yet. There's just so much. Um, but there we go. That is neon. Isn't it beautiful? Look at those colours. They are just so, so, so pretty. So again, all of the same dimensions and everything else. <clears throat> then I ordered this one because the deep tones in it really just pulled me in. Look at that. Isn't it just lovely? Absolutely lovely. Just so pretty. And this one is called Rhapsody. 
good name. It is beautiful. Again, all the same dimensions and everything else. So I believe there's more in those bags somewhere. Um, yeah, it will be somewhere. But that was a DK weight. Now this is a four ply. So a UK four ply is a sport weight over across the pond. Now some places call it lace, which is a bit weird because I thought three plies lace. I guess it depends on how fat it actually is. So here's my strand. Now I've had some DKs that fat because you know they're not standardized. So it's not ridiculously skinny, but this is zigzag. And wow, look at those colors. That's rather jolly, isn't it, that one? So let me tell you about this then. It is four ply, suitable for socks. So you can use it as a sock yarn. And of course, it's upside down, would be, wouldn't it? This colour is called Bumblebee. And it is 4810, if you like it. They're 100 gram balls. It's 75% superwash wool, 25% nylon, 460 yards or 420 metres. So there's lots on a skein. But that is zigzag. Lovely, lovely stuff. And there is also this colour. Obviously, all the dimensions exactly the same. But oh, look at those colours. They're lovely. Just beautiful together. And this is um, Mayfly. 4813 Mayfly. Beautiful colours. More subtle, obviously, than the previous. But, you know, let's get jazzy again. We've got this one. Now, this is the one I really, really like. For some reason, this just shouts out at me, and I really, really love this one. And this is called Dragonfly 4812. But obviously, all the same dimensions and everything else before. Beautiful stuff. I like that one a lot. And this one is really, really pretty as well. Look at those colours. They're lovely together. So this one is called Butterfly. And it is so pretty. But again, all the same thingamajig. You know, dimensions is the word I'm looking for. So just bear with me a second because I feel like I can hear someone knocking. I'll be... Sorry, that was just a neighbour. Anyway, uh, where was I? Oh, yes. So um, now a little while ago, I did a giveaway for some yarn called Fjord. And um, there were these two colours in that. And there were some pinks as well. Um, I can't find my little stash of the pinks. But these two colours in the Fjord, um, I really loved these at the time. So I ordered these. Now, um, what have we got here? This is called Tromso, this light coloured one. And the dark one is Volder, darker one. Um, that's the two blues that I had. Um, I'll just put those over there for now. But there was this one, and I didn't get it at the time. And now that I have it, I really wished I had it. It is absolutely lovely. It's called Sortland. Sortland. So this is the King Cold Fjord. It is absolutely gorgeously soft. It feels like a silky cotton. Um, and it actually does perform a little bit like a cotton because the strands don't have a lot of give in them if you know what I mean you know how cotton is kind of rigid well it, it just feels so silky soft and like a cotton but as I say this is called Sortland number 4562 they're 100 grams they're 273 yards and 250 meters and it's 100% anti-pilling acrylic and when it knits up it does knit up with this fair isle pattern and obviously I did show some swatches with the pink, um, how it crocheted up on my channel, you'll find that review. But uh, this is Sortland, so we've got that one. And then I ordered this absolutely astonishingly good green. There's a little uh, tuft sticking out there. You can just about, let's pop that back in. There we go, little tuft. So that's what the um, strands look like. And this one is 
Tice, T-Y-S-S-E, Tice. Obviously all the dimensions are the same, but look at those colours, isn't that green? Absolutely gorgeous and really crazy soft, absolutely gorgeous. So I'm not, I wonder if this is one of the pinks that I had. I think it is. This one is called Fusa, F-U-S-A, Fusa. And I've got this one as well. Absolutely lovely. I do believe there are more in the bags, but um, weren't able to readily get my hands on them. And they are DK weight as well. So, so far we've had some DK. We've had some four ply sport weight. Uh, so that's three, three weight light worsted. <laughs> Try and get the terminology right. But this one is an Aaron. And this is King Cole Forest Aran. And these are really compact, sturdy balls. You know, sometimes it's all willowy, and but this is really quite sturdy stuff. But it's not rough feel. Now, this is a 100 gram ball. And we have 35% wool, 20% acrylic, 20% polyamide, 25% viscose, approximately 328 yards or 300 metres. And that is an Aran. And we've got this lovely kind of dark red. And these are all called after forests. Obviously, it's called Forest Aran. Where's the name? Oh, here we are. This one's called Red Bray Wood. Shade number 1924. Red Bray Wood. So that's that one. And then we have this gorgeous heathery colour one. Look at that. And this one, it just feels so much softer in this colour for some reason. Don't you find that sometimes? This one's called Delamere Forest. Same dimensions, obviously. But look at that beautiful kind of lilac-y colour. Lavender? Lilac? I don't know what the difference between those two are. Obviously, I know in the, the actual plants. And then we've got this bluey, dark blue. And this one is called... I'm really warm now. Um, Kilda Forest. Kilda Forest. Isn't that lovely? It's got some lovely flecks. All those different beautiful colours like the reds and the blues. <clears throat> Going a bit croaky. That's Kilda Forest. And then we have this one, which is a kind of a, a charcoal-y colour with flecks. We've got those coloured flecks going through it. And this one is called Gisborne. Gisborne Forest, which always reminds me of um, Guy of Gisborne. So was that was that um, Robin Hood, or was it uh, King Arthur? I can't remember. Then we've got this lovely pink, really, really pretty pink, and this one is called Wire Forest. W Y R E, Wire Forest one nine two three. But that's really pretty, really nice colour. Lovely subtle shade. Feels so nice actually. I don't feel like, you know sometimes when you, you get wool content and you feel like, oh that's rough. I haven't found that with these, not any of them. So then there's this one which um, we've had Aaron, we've had DK and we've had, I'm really warm, four ply. This one doesn't really have a denomination because you'll see for yourself when I show it to you and I should have a green one somewhere that this is um, a very odd yarn it like it crochets up or knits up like a lace because you've got these well get it's like giving roving yarn um, it's a roving yarn with muscles because the way it works up, you've got these real kind of tufty bits and then you've got these real thin bits. But it looks so nice when it's made up. And this is King Cole Opium. And there's this absolutely gorgeous honey colour. Let's see what we've got here. This is so soft, excuse me, it got stuck. This is called Honey 3340. And it doesn't have... Uh, it just says it's, a, I think it crochets like a lace, you know, like a tatted lace. So it's not a lace weight though. Um, it's 42% cotton. No, it's not, I lie. It is 50, it's so 
white on a light background. 54% cotton, 42% premium acrylic and 4% polyamide. That's why it's ridiculously soft. 273 yards or 250 metres. But it is astonishing. Absolutely gorgeous stuff. So we've got honey. And then we've got this really lovely yellow, which I thought I was getting green. So I'm a bit confused. But this is called lemon. I should have one called melon somewhere, unless it's out of stock and they didn't send it to me. I should have a green one called melon. But this is lemon. And this one, I love this colour. It's like a silver. Going to look lovely when that's made up. And it's called <laughs> silver. Well, there you go. That's probably why it's called silver. So, as I said, drop in the ocean. Um, I've got a couple of these now, and I absolutely love these. Look at this. It's called Shine. But look how much shine is in this yarn. And the colours are just lovely. It's just beautiful. really is. So, we've got a 100 gram ball, and it I believe this is a DK weight. Um, the shade is called Masai Mara. Masai Mara. Oh, love this one. It's my favourite one. Now, <clears throat> we've got 97% premium acrylic and 3% polyester. There are 310 yards or 240, no, 282 metres. Can't read to save my life here. Now... It doesn't, oh, DK, it does say DK weight. But Masai Mara, I just love you. You are beautiful. Absolutely lovely. So that's Masai Mara. Um, and this one, oh, wow. Look at those mauves and purples. They really do give off a shine. It's hard for me to show you just how much, but they are glistening. They really are glistening. And this is called Nightlife. And it is no wonder that it's called nightlife because it's kind of darker than it's showing up because it's hard to show purple, I find. But they are glistening for their, all their little life is worth. So that was all of the normal <laughs> kind of yarn that I pulled out. But then I decided to show you some of the baby yarn that I have got. Now, this is just, as I say drop in the ocean there's loads more that I haven't yet got out but the two um, ranges that I decided to show you are um, the King Cole Cherished it's called Cherished because they also have Cherish just to confuse you all but this is a baby double knitting and look at that lovely lemon colour that has a beautiful sheen to it it is just lovely it's playing havoc with my lights because of the sheen so this is a hundred grams it's called lemon one four two zero and a hundred gram gives you a hundred percent low pilling acrylic 262 yards 240 meters and it is squishy really really squishy it is beautiful so that was the lemon and then i have this color which, oh, that is, oh, look, did you see that? It kind of, with a shine, it really is affecting my light for some reason. It's because it's got a sheen to it. This is called Peach 3196. And it, again, it is just, oh, it is beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. And then I've got this one, which is a lovely blue. And uh, let's just tuck this end in because it's threatening to unravel, like me. This is called Baby Blue 3314. Obviously, all the dimensions are the same. And then we've got this one. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful colour? This is one of my favourite colours, I have to say. So, so soft. Unbelievable. This is called Sea Breeze. And wow, it's just gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. And then I have white, because she always needs some white. And my bag is getting overfilled. Um, then we have a cream, a cream colour. I bet it's called cream. Yep, called cream. One, four, two, three, cream. 
and then this absolutely gorgeous lilac colour. Really beautiful, subtle shades. I'm going to put that end back in under the armband. It's only where I got it out of the bag. I'm just like yanking them out unceremoniously. This is called Lavender. And number 1414 Lavender. So pretty. And then we've got this lovely pink. I thought there was a lighter pink as well, which probably in the bag. This one's called Powder Pink. 3197. I thought it was powder blue, not powder pink. But not that this is blue, but the actual colours powder blue. But they've called it powder pink. And I do believe there is a lighter pink somewhere. So along with Cherished, you get Cherish. So Cherish DK is a variegated yarn. So that is designed really to go with so if you wanted to pair that with um another shade you you can so this is uh cherish again it's dk and it goes hand in hand with cherished and this one is 1116 strawberry they do have raspberry i think as well and uh let's just see if it's the same 100 percent low pilling acrylic 262 yards 240 meters i do believe it is so we've got and that's what it looks like when it's worked up absolutely gorgeous gorgeous and soft so there's a uh, strawberry and we have this is one so beautiful these subtle shades of blue and that lovely little kind of light gray this one's called powder blue we've <laughs> got powder pink and we got powder blue so that's the same denominations and oh, look at these look just lovely lovely rainbow shades and that's what it looks like when it's made up and this one is called sprinkles what a gorgeous name so that is all the ones that i actually got out to show you but that's not all there is because i wanted to show you some of these little bits and pieces i got now these are eyeballs for toys i've got little eyeballs and i got bigger oh, here's the eyeball no bigger eyeballs and there's more eyeballs so there's three lots of eyeballs or are they noses i should have noses somewhere they all look like eyeballs i don't know where the noses are but I did buy noses as well for making toys. And in here, well, there might be some noses, but I didn't notice them. Noses. I didn't notice them when I had a nosy. Actually, I thought I'd open this. I did. But it's not opening for some reason. Did it stick back up? Yep, it did. And in here, I've got some packets of stitch markers but what i liked about these was just how big and round and easy to open they were because those ones that are sometimes shaped like a little um, safety pin are not always easy they're just not always easy at all to get open when you're trying to take it out and sometimes when you're putting it in it splits your yarn but these just looked so much easier so i've got some stitch markers so another another place I've ordered from, I've got those really beautiful rainbow scissors. You know the ones that I've been using for a long time, which are that dark rainbow colour? I've got those. But they also sent me a few samples because um, when I order, I can ask them to send me some samples to look at to see if I quite fancy ordering these things. So the first one that they sent me was a... Um, a little tiny yarn called geezer and it's cotton four ply it is a little ball but obviously because it's four ply and it is a very fine four ply not like the last one i showed you but then cotton does tend to i don't know look thinner but it's not this is a 50 gram ball obviously it's white it's called calico 2427 and we have 100% geezer mercerized cotton. It's 175 yards or 158 meters. So it's nice and soft. That's what I wanted to see what it was like because obviously the things that I've not 
held in my hand before and I wanted to know what they were like with a view to maybe stocking them. Now this is King Coil Moments and I've never, never used Moments or even seen it in a shop anywhere to know what it was like. So obviously it's an eyelash kind of yarn, a real nice furry job. So again, 50 gram ball and this is 100% polyester, 98 yards or 90 meters. So I'm not sure. Sometimes they say chunky on them and sometimes they say something else. And I'm looking to see if I can find a denomination of that kind, but I can't. But this is just called Red 478. Try and find a strand to show you. But it is just a kind of standard eyelash yarn. But that's moments. So that's kind of nice feel. Another little ball was this one. Lovely colours. You know me, I'm a sucker for blues. Now this is called King Cole Geezer Cotton again in Sorbet four ply. So goes hand in hand with this, but a little kind of uh, variegated one instead of a solid colour. And then I decided I wanted to have a little look at Dolly Mix DK because I've never seen Dolly Mix in any shop or used it or touched it in any way. So I wanted to have a little look and see what it was like. And it is crazy soft, really, really is. Uh, but it is a little ball. What we've got, 25 gram ball, 100% acrylic. And this is called Clerical, shade 49. But that is a little ditty ball. That's what that one's like. So I asked them as well what the Merino was like. So this is the King Cole Merino. Comes in a donut. Oh, Merino. Is lovely and soft, as you'd expect. And this is called Orange 2638. Not being very, um, what's the word? Uh, I don't know what the word is I'm looking for. When somebody's being clever with colours, just calling it Orange. 100% Merino Superwash, approximately 153 yards or 140 metres. Orange. So I just wanted to see what that was like in case I fancied ordering that merino. And then I wanted to see what this was like. This is lovely. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. This is Explorer. So, wow. Look at those colours. They are, when you hold them apart, because they, when you go up close and you see the browns, it doesn't have quite the same effect as when you see it from a distance. But that is just gorgeous. Now, these are 100 grams, but they are um, obviously a super chunky. Yep, they're a super chunky, which is um, a six across the pond. And this shade is called Marco Polo 4299. It's beautiful, absolutely. 80% premium acrylic and 20% wool. 89 yards or 80 meters, but it is gorgeous and soft. And I love Marco Polo's colours. Look at that. So, nearly at the end of the samples, this one I asked for as well. And this is called a twirly tweed. Chunky, which is a bulky five. So I'd not seen twirly tweed. I could get my mouth around this. Twirly tweed, I'd not seen it before. But here we are. And they've sent me this colour. Um, which has obviously got reds and variegated and then going into a bit of a pinky pinky vibe and other reds um, with a little fleck in that part. So this is Twirly Tweed and it's called Raspberry Ripple 4161. So we've got, hard to see on a motley background, 80% premium acrylic, 18% wool and 2% viscose, 222 yards, 203 meters and it's 150 gram ball and that's twirly tweed so those ones have given me some food for thought um at least i've had a little taster of what they're like remember they sent me some samples before and um it was a good thing because i did order some of those now this as i said is just a fraction of what i actually ordered i do have some more to show you from king cole but i also have Deliv today was um, my Peter Pan and Wendy, which I think was mostly Peter Pan, to be honest with you. 
but um, I'm going to go find out where my noses are and a few other things. They could actually be in the bags that I've not opened yet, so I will <laughs> go investigate. But thank you for watching. It was a bit of a long one. Um, that's just a little sample of the stuff that I got. Hope you like it. It's going to be um, uploaded onto my site and uh, hopefully that won't be too much longer. So thanks for watching. Stay safe. Take care and I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.